Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central has a feature known as the Role Center, which is this screen in front of us. This works as a home screen, and the idea is it brings functionality and data to you to make you more efficient. So you have to do less going and looking for things, and it's adapted to your job within the business. However, out of the box, this may not quite suit exactly how you wish to work, so you can personalize this. To do this, go up to the cog, top right. On here, choose Personalize. You then get this confirmation that you're personalizing and your current role. Within this, then if I hover over any of the screen elements, known as parts, I have various options to interact with them. If I click the little red triangle, I can move or I can hide, remove that screen element. Uh, some I can also add further things into. So for example, if I scroll down a bit, I could do the same kind of thing. Any of these, any of these summary fields that act like a, a flow filter as well and let me get through to the documents and make up these balances, I could move or remove. So if there's a screen element that I don't wish to see, as long as I'm within the main part, I could then choose to interact with it specifically. So if here, for example, I may not wish to see that element, I can hide it. Hidden elements are not lost. If I want to add them in in the future or see if there's anything extra I can add back in, if I click the more and then plus field, on the right hand side for the part I have selected, so for the activities part in this case, it shows me what I could add back in. I can drag or drop that back in or I can simply use clear personalization to reset just that part, just the activities part, back to its default situation. So yes, and that's back in. And there's nothing extra that I could add. If I go down, we have a number of parts that we can interact with in the same kind of fashion. So for each selected part, we'll see if there is other information I can drag on, but I could always remove things. For example, if I wasn't actually doing approvals, because I'm not an approver for anybody else, I can just go in and remove that element. and clear it to reset it. Now you'll find that some parts on some role centers are locked down. So for example, I can't actually change the navigation bar up at the top and I can't change the quick actions. But if you hover over something, you'll get a red box around what you can interact with and you'll use the red triangle to say what exactly you could do. If I come down to the, the parts, here, for example, I can't actually drag and drop that. I've got the no entry sign to change the sequence of those two. But on the rest of the parts, if I want to resequence things, so the favorite accounts, if I make that go pink, if I drag it across, the red line see now moves to the right hand side. So before I've got the no entry, I get the red line, I can drop that there, and it will resequence those trial balance and then favorite accounts. Similarly, you might find in some parts, like Report Inbox, there's quite a few fields you could add in. So I could drag and drop User ID and the Report ID and the Report Name. And each of these, what I could do is also set a different freeze pane because it's essentially a list part now. So when I scroll, different columns scroll. You also can resize columns to make them take less space. So I wanted that to have higher priority. I could drag that up drop that there and you'll see it basically moves things around in a circle because it not trial balance across one and favorite accounts came down to the next level. When I'm finished, I can either close the add fields part. If I'm not finished completely, I don't want to add any more fields, so I can still interact with things or I simply click done to come out of personalization mode. If I realize that actually I want to reset everything that's straightforward, back into personalize. I 
click more and then I've got this option here clear personalization which will clear everything so all my changes to the sequencing and each individual part will be reset so I hit that yes to continue and if I take a look everything's back to the way it was originally it's important that you do this having first correctly chosen the right starting point of roll center so take a look at the available roll centers see what they feature choose the right one for you and then ensure you have the right permissions to make it work correctly